Okay, so for page two now of uh, May, June, no, sorry, March, February, March 2019, paper 2-2. Two, two. Uh, this, this is the second page of the questions. Um, and we're doing question number six right now. It says the probability that a sweet made in a factory is in the wrong shape is 0 0.0028. One day the factory makes 25,000 sweets. Calculate the number of sweets that are expected to be the wrong shape. Now, so the probability, okay, that the, the sweets are the wrong shape is 0 0.000028. Okay, so if you multiply that probability, 0 0.0028, by the total number of sweets, Okay, you can say the probability is like the percentage or the, um, not percentage, the proportion of sweets which are, okay, the wrong shape. So if you multiply 25,000 by that proportion, you'll end up with the number of sweets which are the wrong shape. So we take our 25,000 and multiply it by 0 0.0028. 0 0.0028 times 25,000. Yep. And that gives us 70. So there's 70 sweets that are expected to be the wrong shape in this bag of sweets. Okay, now, number seven. The bearing of Alexandria from Paris is 128 degrees. Calculate the bearing of Paris from Alexandria. So here is, this is like back bearings here. So the bearing of Alexandria from Paris. So when it says from Paris, we're starting at Paris. So let me just put a P here. This is where we're starting from. And we have to always draw a north line at the point where we're starting from. So that's the north line. Okay, now the bearing um, of Alexandria from Paris is 128. Now, 128 is an angle which, let me put the P on the side. One second. It's an angle, okay, which is more than 90 but less than 180 degrees. Okay, more than 90 but less than 180 degrees. So it's basically going to be more than 90. Let me get rid of the arrow from that one. Okay, more than 90. So it's more than 90, but less than 180. So it's somewhere along here. You don't have to be precise. Just make a sketch for our purposes here. Um, and that's where we can say is Alexandria. Okay, the angle is 128 degrees. And... We've got to find the bearing of Paris from Alexandria. So now we've got to start from Alexandria. So make a north line at Alexandria. Okay. And we've got to go. Now, bearings are always measured, like I should have said here. Bearings are always measured in the clockwise direction, starting from the north line. So here, the bearing of Alexandria from Paris was 128. We start from the north line. We go clockwise until we're facing Alexandria. So that's why... Angle looks like this. Now, when we're finding the bearing of Paris from Alexandria, we don't go this way. We don't say it's this angle because this is anti clockwise. We have to go clockwise. Bearings are always measured in the clockwise direction. So we want to find this angle here. Now, there's a couple of ways we could do it. One way we could do it is say, okay, I know that this is the north line and this is the north line. They are parallel. Therefore, these two angles here are corresponding. So this angle here is this angle here is 180 minus 128 okay 128 take it away from 180 okay okay that's 52 degrees so we know that that angle is 52 degrees okay so that's 52 and therefore the angle we need is 360 minus 52 degrees which is going to be 308 degrees Okay, so you have 360 minus 52 degrees. Yeah. 360 uh, minus 52, which is 308. Okay. Now, another way we could have done it is we could have taken this line that we already drew here and we could have extended it. Let's get that line, extended it further, in which case these two angles would be the same. So you'd have this angle be 128. So this angle from there to there would be 128. 
and 128 plus 180 okay 128 plus 180 should give us the same value and it does okay which is 383 so that's another way you can confirm it okay so there's two ways of answering that question now we're going to get number eight now it says o is the origin o to a is 2x plus 3y and b to a is x minus 4y Find the position vector of B. Now, first of all, a position vector of B means how to get from O to B. Whenever you see the word position vector, it means from O to that point. Now, X and Y are two vectors. We don't know what they are. So I can just make a diagram to help me, which can be drawn in any particular way. That's O. Let's just say A is here, and let's just say B is there. We don't actually know where they are because we don't know what X and Y are. The vectors X and Y, we don't know what they are. Let me get rid of the arrow from this, sorry. So here we got OA and we got BA. Okay, so what we know is O to A is 2x plus 3y and B to A is x minus 4y. Now we want to find the position vector of B. So we want to find the vector that takes us from O to B. Okay, we want to find the vector that takes us from O to B. This is what we want to find. And we can see from this diagram, O to B is equal to O to A, okay, plus A to B. All right, now A to B is minus B to A. So it's O to A minus B to A. Okay, because A to B is the opposite direction of B to A. Okay. So we can say that, that this is 2x plus 3y minus, and then you're going to have um, x minus 4y. So we'll have 2x minus x, which is x. Okay, and we have 3 minus minus 4y, which is 3. So you have 2x minus x, and you have plus 3y minus minus 4y, just to show the steps there. 3y minus minus 4y is plus 7y. So you have x plus 7y. And that's question 8. And that's the end of page number 2.